Next presentation will be given by Dr. Imazio from Torino, Italy, Colchicine for Recurrent Pericarditis, a multicenter double-blind randomized controlled trial, the CORP study. Dear Chairperson and dear press representative, it is my pleasure and honor to be here today and have the opportunity to briefly discuss the main results of the CORP trial. I have no disclosure and I present the data on behalf of the CORP investigators. The Colchicine for Recurrent Pericarditis is uh, the first multicenter double-blind randomized trial on this topic, and the background of the study is that recurrent pericarditis is probably the most common and troublesome complication of pericarditis, uh, occurring in about one-third of patients with acute pericarditis, and the recurrence rate is even higher in patients with the recurrences because it uh, goes up to 50%. No drug has been definitively proven efficacious for prevention in multicenter double-blind randomized trials, and so aim of this study was to evaluate the efficacy and safety of colchicine for recurrence prevention. And the specific condition we wanted to test was the first recurrence because of the reported very high recurrence rate of 50%. So we randomized 120 patients with the, the first recurrence of pericarditis, 60 patients were randomized to conventional treatment plus placebo, and 60 patients were randomized to conventional treatment plus colchicine. The study hypothesis was that colchicine may help the recurrence rate, and with this sample size, the study was powered to test the hypothesis. And uh, colchicine was given at the dose of one milligram twice a day for the first 24 hours as attack dose, followed by 0.5 milligram twice a day for six months, and other doses were given to patients uh, of less than 70 kilograms. The study primary endpoint was the recurrence rate at 18 months, and uh, the choice of 18 months was due because in the literature we know that all the recurrences uh, generally happens within this time. So 18 months is a sufficient time for follow-up to test the efficacy of a drug for pericarditis prevention. And the secondary endpoints were the symptoms persistent at 72 72 hours, remission rate at one month, number of recurrences, time to the subsequent recurrence, disease-related hospitalization, cardiac tamponade, and constrictive pericarditis. And in this figure, we uh, summarize the, the study endpoints. We can see that colchicine halved the recurrence rate with an impressive relative risk reduction of 56. So we need to treat three patients with the first recurrence of pericarditis to prevent a further recurrence. Colchicine also uh, halved the uh, symptom persistent at 72 hours, improved the one week remission rate, and we also recorded a trend toward a reduced rate of readmission in the colchicine group, while we recorded no significant cases of tamponade and constriction. But what is also very important is that colchicine reduced the mean number of recurrences, as you can see here and uh, also prolonged the time to the first recurrence, while the follow-up was similar in the study groups. But what is really important is also that colchicine is not only efficacious, but is also safe because the overall adverse effect rates and drug withdrawal rates were absolutely the same in the placebo and, con and the colchicine group, and we recorded no severe side effects. So let me conclude that following an initial episode of recurrent pericarditis, colchicine as adjunct to empiric anti-inflammatory therapy appears to be an expensive and safe means to hasten symptoms resolution to improve emission rates by one week and to reduce further recurrences during follow-up. For those who are interested to have an in-depth view to the study, the paper is published today online on the Annals of Internal Medicine. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much. Uh, for this important contribution. Are there any questions? Yes, please. Could you provide background about what pericarditis involves and also how colchicine is thought to work to reduce it? Yes. Uh, in, this, in this study, we recruited patients with idiopathic and viral pericarditis that represent most of the cases of pericarditis in developing countries, and we excluded the patient with bacterial and neoplastic etiologies. So the results apply to a specific subset of patients with pericarditis. And uh, uh, the um, mechanism uh, of action of colchicine, uh, colchicine is able to concentrate in white blood cell even when used at very low oral doses, such as in the, the CORP trial. 
And uh, the main uh, anti-inflammatory mechanism is the uh, fact that colchicine is able to block the polymerization of tublin to interfere in that way with the microtubule functions. And these are very important for leukocyte function. And this is the main uh, known uh, effect uh, to explain the uh, anti-inflammatory action of colchicine in pericarditis. More questions, please. Could you just explain what percentage of patients are affected by pericarditis? Is this more of a problem in certain countries than others? Could you just perhaps clarify? We have very few epidemiological data on, on the uh, incidence and prevalence of pericarditis. Uh, however, we know that uh, um, pericarditis uh, is uh, uh, re relatively frequent in the clinical practice uh, and uh, um, from uh, five to ten percent of patients that are admitted to the emergency department at the end of the uh, diagnostic evaluation, this patient will have pericarditis. So it is an important uh, uh, cause of chest pain and uh, it affects a large proportion of patients in, in the clinical practice. Were there any differences concerning the genesis of pericarditis, postcardiotomy, pericarditis, viral, rheumatic or anything? Yes. We have also data uh, on uh, pericarditis following cardiac surgery because last year I presented the, the uh, COPS trial, uh, the first multicenter double blind randomized trial, where colchicine also was able to prevent uh, pericarditis following cardiac surgery. So we have uh, uh, different uh, evidences uh, supporting the efficacy of the drug for the primary and secondary prevention of pericarditis. Any further questions? So, thank you very much. Thank Everything you. was clear. Thank you. So, thank you uh, all for your attendance. There will be uh, also the possibility to find dates with the presenters for later.